You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I am on my way to your house. <sighs> good. I met you on the way. Have you heard the good news? You're looking at the next king of Omungene Kingdom. Well, it's not new information. I mean, it's been flying around for a while. What I don't understand is what it's got to do with me. <sighs> I'm surprised you're asking the question. What it means is that you will be the next queen of Umungere Kingdom. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, are you this daft that you can't tell when a woman likes you or not? Listen, Silas, if you like, be the king of all kings, of all the seven kingdoms around here. I will never be your wife. Do not say what you will regret later. Listen, I only stopped because I thought you had something important to say. Have a good day. You're walking out on me? Owa Napoleon. Owa Were Nukunri. Get it, thank you. Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can you kill it? Can I move for Santa Naya? Oh, can you kill it? Can I move for Santa Naya? You. Why must you walk out on him? Can you imagine? A whole Omwa of this land. That was so rude and disrespectful. Too. So because he is your Omwa, I should have knelt down to talk to him? At least, you should have accorded him some respect. I mean, this is a young man that loves you and even wants to make you his wife. Why exactly. disrespect him? I can see you ladies don't want to have a peaceful stroll this evening. So I suggest you let me be and let me stroll by myself. Become friends with such an unreasonable person. Oh, I see reasons with her. No most times you need to make this man pass through the eye of the needle. They will never respect you. You think so, so? I know. Let's just allow her. Let's just let her be. Okay? She'll be fine. Let's leave her. Let's go. Do we crown him king when nobody has ever been crowned king from his lineage? Uh, in the, okay, okay, that is not an excuse at all. Money can always force anything hey. to start. Okay. Uh, when he becomes a king, uh, it means that he is the first person in his lineage to become a king. Oh. And do you know the, the most important aspect of what we are saying? Yes. Mm. Is that you have to very beautiful house, oh. a magnificent <laughs> edifice, yeah? even more beautiful than the, the, the palace. We we'll just him. crown him there and become our king. It's a joke. What of the crown? What of the crown? Uh, Will Prince Kedini accept to release the crown for us to crown another person king? Okay. Ah, it's okay. okay. Mm. We are not even going to disturb him with that request. Oh. Okay, okay. If he likes, let him keep the crown of his father. Oh. 
Mm. We can always get a crown. Oh. Yes. Once we name him king, we will give one million naira to the commissioner of chieftains in Mawa. And they will issue him with a certificate oh. and register him as a king. Another important thing. Okay. As Belinda, the daughter of each year, Ilopotive has rejected him. I think he needs another woman as a wife. Is he aware of this? Uh -uh. Zobiora. Half of noon is your corner up and Katojo. I see that you and your men have gathered. Huh? Prince Kedin, you are here. And why is that fool ringing the royal bell for you? He's ringing the royal bell because I was born into royalty. And I shall die again. Okay? Hey, 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 stop! Stop it! Stop it! I never wanna. Hey, hey! If uh, you ring that bell one more time, I will teach you in a brutal way that I'm still in Zobiora, that the deities are void. It's here, Obiora. You know that the deities do not avoid you. Stop being ridiculous. As a matter of fact, it is men like you that avoid the deities. Why? Because your hands drip of immorality. Ah, hey. uh. Needless to remind you all that this is not in any way a friendly visit. Continue in your evil ways. Very soon you all shall find out that men are nothing without the gods. <laughs> I can see you only want to provoke us or maybe somebody here will slap you. Then well, you will start a well, education well, that uh, will uh, break uh, our uh, plan. Uh, well, uh, let me disappoint you. <laughs> These men you see here are far above that level. Uh -huh. I choose to ignore your irrelevant rant and get back to the reason I am here. I am here. To remind you all that my name is Prince Ike Dinibo. I shall become the king of Umungene Kingdom, and all of you, each and every one of you, will be answerable to me. And the ancestral practice of Ikamanile shall be brought back to our land. <laughs> Wait, my fellow, I am certain that we all understand the implication of what you just eh? And uh, we see what we engineered him. Mm. And I want us to see this as a war. Oh, oh, war. 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 But we are not afraid of war. If he wants one, we are equal to the task. We'll Listen, he has turned us into our eyes. Yes. We mm -hmm. shall give him gunpowder. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who is a wavy civil power, by the way? Let us pretend, let us pretend that if we never had the stupid power. Okay. Let us continue with our plans. Let us forget about diversion. We will send words to Onwa. He needs to get married immediately. Then we, we we get done with the coronation. Yes. Ka, the, ka, oh, Let me yeah. know what that boy. Mm. He can't be the boy. 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 He can't be
I was having such a smooth relationship with you before all these things started. Obi. Now I can't even see you at will anymore. Obi. It will pass. Okay? This too shall pass. And we will overcome. These people might have created a gap between you and I, but our hearts still beat for each other. And that is what is most important. We will overcome. Okay? Just hang in there. We'll be fine. I don't understand the kind of elders we have running the affairs of this kingdom. I mean, how can they settle for a character like Silas? They want his money. And the overambitious idiot is willing to spend the money. Is that even possible? To take your father's throne? A throne that belongs to your family? And give it to someone else? Because of money? I went to Ajahn Yuku and Obimbako. I made my intentions for Omongene known. Also solicited for their help. My love, I believe that as far as this matter is concerned, I have crossed my teeth and dotted my eyes. If the gods would allow Silas Ilobi crowned king, then I'll take it that they never liked the plans that I have for the people of Umongele. And I'll leave it at that and just move on with my business. What is the meaning of this? What were you doing at father's grave? I watched you walk in there. I went in there to pray. Do you have a problem with Vitasa? He was my father. So I have every right to know what anyone does there. Like I said, I went in there to pray. But I think you should go in there as well and pray, because you're fast. You say that? No. You are the one who is going to lose the throne very soon. No amount of prayer you say in Father's grave would save you. No amount. Do the needful and stop all this madness. For crying out loud, this is politics. Play politics with politicians. And stop moving around with native doctors. Uh, who do you refer to as a native doctor? Chief Iwuno Akodiofu. The one you call Owefu Siwe Puawo of Omongene Kingdom. He is a native doctor. He does not understand the politics going on. And please, Ikedinibo, my father is dead. Allow him rest in peace. Stop going into his room unnecessarily. And now, the spirit of my fathers, I know they are with me. Again, I Amen. Ah. save this number. Well, uh, this is Owa Nomongene. Why are you calling me, please? I got you a new Range Rover Sports. They will deliver it to you tomorrow. 
Listen, I want to make you my wife. And I assure you, I will ensure you remain happy all the days of your life. Well, I am not interested in your range of response. You can give it to any of those beautiful and outstanding single ladies that cluster around you. I am taken. Good night. Oh, 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 and please, don't call my number again. Um, um, hello? Uh, uh. Where are that, Tojo? Hmm? I will get you. I will get you to the right spot. I would want you to be no yeah. Hmm? Where the propellum? No yeah. No yeah. Rubbish. Hmm. How are you coping with your business with all this? Ah, uh, the business is fine. You know I have capable hands, so even in my absence. Um, the boys are doing well. I get reports every now and then, and I can tell you that we're staying afloat, we're fine. <sighs> I heard Silas has been sharing money everywhere. He even went to the market and shared money to the people. So I heard. I was told. He has money to throw around, so. Let him waste it. You know, the kind of confidence you exude in the midst of all this marvels me. Ah. And we know this really is a challenge on the gods and ancestors of Umungana. I went to two secret places and I prayed. I prayed and I prayed with faith. So if they choose to lose out on this, then it will be their loss and not mine. Odogu <laughs> okay. <laughs> Indeed, the gods have blessed you. I like to see men talk like men. <laughs> Let me call Obidike. We need a fresh pan wine to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but you just called me the blessed one. I am the prince of Umunga. I am in your house. I like nothing. Eh? You want pan wine? Eh? I will make a call. Eh? Uh -huh. And a gallon shall be brought um, here right away. Relax here. Yeah. <laughs> One name. <laughs> Silas Ilo. The owner of Umungene Kingdom. Hmm. Wow. Woo. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I was so surprised when I was told you were here just to see me. The beautiful one. Why would you be surprised? Huh? I've looked around this kingdom. And you are the frontline beauty we have in this land. Someone like me, Owa Umungene, Owa Napoland, Wokewere Nukunri, should be friends with someone like you. <laughs> Honestly, I do not have a problem with that. Because I know full well that you always visit the palace when my father was alive. Oh, yes. But, um,. You're wearing this beautiful then. You've grown into a beautiful queen. And I feel it's time you become one real time. Why do I have this feeling that you're speaking in riddles? I'm here just as my heart leads me. I'm here to seek 
The woman that has been giving me sleepless nights. The one my heart yearns for. And who is this woman, if I may ask? She's right here with me. Princess Asanze, the beauty of Umungene Kingdom. But you have always had your eyes on my brother's fiance. That was a mystic. And it is in the past now. My love. Just give us a chance and I will make you my queen. Honestly, I am so confused. I don't even know what to say. You do not need to say much. Just say yes. And I will bring heaven down to you on earth here. for me. Yes. The gate man whispered to me on my way back that Silas Hilo was here. Is that true? Do you have a problem with that? He was my guest. How can that man be your guest, Asanze? What does he want here? Well, he came to discuss something very personal with me, which I wouldn't want to share with you now. You would not want to share with me? Asanze, I'm your brother. You now have secret meetings with an enemy of the throne and you choose to keep it from your brother. An enemy you say? That you have decided to make everyone your enemy doesn't necessarily mean that he is your enemy. So why do you refer to him as one? Well, he is my friend. My very good friend. He is not an enemy and will never be. Excuse me. My love. Please make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and please, um, before you instruct them to prepare something for us, just know that we are okay. Because I know you. <laughs> we are okay. I'm actually here for business. Business? Oh, yes. Yeah. What sort of business is it? Okay, um, here is Mr. James Benjamin, my account officer. Mr. Benjamin, this is Princess Asanze, mm -hmm. my wife-to-be. The very one I told you that I want to make a co signatory to my account. Excuse me? I'm sorry I didn't hear that part. Can you repeat yourself? Give the signature cards, ma. You can just see the required colors and I will do the rest. Wow, whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Baby, you're so sweet! <laughs> 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 and you are the real deal. Mm -hmm. Do not worry yourself. I've instructed my bankers in Poland to transfer all my Poland zoo to Nigeria. Oh my we'll God. be managing them. I 
Mm, you kind of know if any year ago. And your wife already. Thank you. Wow. Ah. Ah. Mm. Cut. If you need any additional information, you call me. It's fine, but I, I don't mind. I, w I want to feel it right now. Okay. If you don't mind. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm with him. <laughs> Are you joking? Why would I be pulling your legs? This is how this goes, what is going to happen? Omar is getting married to the princess. Why would she agree to marry him? We're not the one that gave him space. If you had accepted this proposal, he wouldn't have gone to marry the princess. Oh, stop making it sound like I'm regretting anything, because I'm not. I I'm only just feeling pity in my spirit for the princess. I mean, it shows how classless she is. Why would she agree to marry a fraud star? Well, you're just the only one saying that. Oma is a money bag, and he knows how to spend the money. Yeah, I mean, he offered me a Range Rover Sports last week. Are you serious? And you turned that down? Mm-hmm. Now I see why he left you for the princess. Belinda, you're just so impossible. Well, I know what I want in a man. And the prince, he has it all. Really? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Are you back in the office? Okay. Please, I would love to make an inquiry from you. I don't want you to feel bad or feel that I'm very inquisitive. You know, now that I am a signatory to that account, I want to know everything about it. Okay, thank you very much, sir. I would want to know the real balance of that account. One point five billion naira. <sighs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much, sir. I thank you so very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Wow, woo. This guy is actually more loaded than I thought. I'm so excited that he is finally mine. Hmm. I humble myself before the princess. I am going to be very direct with this instruction. I do not ever want to see Martins in this compound again. I believe you know who bears that name. Is he not your husband to be my princess? What happened, my princess? Ezazu, you are a big fool. I just gave you an instruction and you're asking me a stupid question. What I'm is sorry. wrong with you? I'm sorry, my princess. No, allow him one more time into this palace and you will be fired. Rubbish. Let it not be what I'm thinking of. Omar will always cause confusion wherever he goes. Wow. <laughs> this is magical. Mm. About the best thing I've heard all my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you do it, Omar? <laughs> hmm? I made her understand that she belongs here oh yes i exposed her to money and she is one of the happiest women on earth now <laughs> uh, i'll get married to her this weekend and we'll get down with the coronation <laughs> by this feat of winning the princess you have put the last nail on the coffin of the prince <laughs> She has not even told him that we are getting married. And I'm sure he will die of shock when he finds out. That will even be better. He is full of negative energy. We don't need such a man in this kingdom right now. Mm. 
Did you? I invited you to brief you. I want you to start the arrangement. Ike Dinibu may refuse marrying her off to me, so I want us to find a way to do it without him. That is no problem at all. We are the owners of this land. I mean, we can maneuver anything and anyone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have a taxi waiting for me with my stuff. Don't go. Please, don't go. You know I'll miss you. Please, don't go. Can, can, you, can you stay? Okay, you know what? I mean, this is all sudden. Okay, for me. Give me one day. Let me shop for you. Let me. Let me get you ready for this journey. I, I, I will take you myself so that you're crying. Stop, stop. I'll be fine. I won't be fine without you. Stop crying. Stop crying. Hey. 